Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video I would like to talk about how to fix heck let loose is having an issue with one launch or not launching, freezing, stuttering, lagging, crashing at startup or it is going through many other issues and you're not able to fix it up and how you can completely fix this up so let's dive into the work now. The first one is all about we have to start with a simple restart. So just go over here in the start icon, click on this one, go over here in this particular one and just do a restart. So once the restart is done, we can try launch the game and you can check whether the issue is solved or not. Moving to the next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to launch the game from the, it's not from the Steam, but we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So we have two shortcuts. One, we just need to go over here in the game, right click, go to the properties. Go over here in the installer info and just click on the browse. So that will take you to the installation folder. If you check at the top, if you check at the path that is this PC, lock this D, Steam library, Steam amps, common, hell let loose. Now from here, we need to launch the game. So, so this is what we have to do as the first step. Next one, just go over here, close everything. And you have to go over here in the file explorer. Just go to this PC and we need to go to the D or where it is installed. Go to the Steam library, Steam apps, go to the common. Now from here, we have to find the hell let loose. Just go to this folder and we need to launch the game. So launch the game from the installation folder. Did work for many users. So that is why I recommend you, you can try this out. Next one, we need to launch the game from the installation folder and we need to run it as an administrator. And also we have to try run it in the compatibility mode. So to do this, just right click over here, right click, go to the show more option, go to the properties, go over here in the compatibility, click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for okay. And also try run this program in the compatibility mode. So either you can set this to Windows 7, set this to Windows 7 and go for apply, or you can set this to Windows 8 and go for apply. Try with any one of these and you have to check. Moving to the next one is all about just go back to the game, try launching the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, the next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to set the date, time and region should be correct. This is very important. I don't know how this is related, but this did work it for many years. So just go over here in the settings. Just go over here in the settings and navigate to the time and language. And now from here, we just need to make sure that you have to set the date and time. And you have to set this turn on and also make sure this is turned on and also you should be should be cross-checking one more thing that you just need to go back go to the language and region now we just need to set your country according to geography for example if you're from united states select united states if you're from any other country you have to select it according to geography now just close this and go back and try launch the game next one is all about we need to allow the game to window security so just go over here search for the control panel just click on this one and right now just click on the system and security go for windows defender firewall now from here click on allow an app port feature through windows defender firewall now from here we just need to scroll down and navigate to hell, hell let loose so just scroll down and we'll be able to find it over here so hell let loose is forward date and make sure both the private or to put a check on private and public this is very important so if you're not able to find it what you need to do is just click on some sometimes you know just crossing the first step we need to make sure this is there and also make sure private and public is set selected if that is not the case just click on the change setting go for allow another app go to the browse navigate to this pc go to local sd go to the steam library steam apps common now from here you have to add the game now just add it and once it is added you'll be getting the error if the game is not there just add the game once it is added just close this and go back and try launching the game still if you're having the trouble the next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the usb devices so we might be connected with a lot of things for example external joysticks might be connected external uh keyboard might be connected or even any area of peripherals might be connected so all these brings up the issue so just unplug everything once everything is unplugged, we just need to try launch the game and you have to check whether the issue is solved or not. Stay if you're having the trouble, we need to move to the next one. That is all about we need to perform a clean boot. So just go over here in the search, search and system, system configuration. Click on this one. And now we just need to go over here to the services tab. Go for disable or go to hide all the Microsoft services. Go for apply and go for OK. So now go for restart. Once the restart is done, just try launch the game. Stay if you're having the trouble. The next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to close all the overlay application. 
So just go over to the game, right click, go to the task manager. And right now you can see there are a lot of things running in the background. So right now there are 50, sorry, 56 apps is running in the background. And all these things are unwanted things. For example, Discord is an unwanted thing which is running in the background. Epic Games Strategy is an unwanted thing which is running in the background. Because all these things are actually utilizing the performance. So we're going through the crashing issue. So it is quite important for us to remove the unwanted things, which comes to the category of overlay and overclocking applications. So just go over here, right click go over here and go to the end task and right now we just need to go over here go to the end task and remove all the unwanted things so we need to remove everything and also once everything is successfully removed as you can see we should be removing everything and once everything is removed just close this and go back and try launching the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to disable the steam overlay so just go over here right click go to the properties now from here, enable the Steam Overlay while in game. If it is turn it on, just turn this off. And we just need to try launch the game. And also we need to turn this on. Afterwards, we can try either turning on. Most probably that I'm recommending you can keep this always disabled and try launch the game. Still, if you have the trouble, just go over here, type the command. That is BX11 should be written first. So type BX11. If BX11 is not working, try with the BX12. If BX12 is not working, go for B3, B2. Just go for B3, B2, and you can try with this as well. If most probably this is gonna work for you in most cases, if that is not working, just close everything, go back and try launching the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, the next one is all about, we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here in the search, before graphics settings, search for the graphics settings. Now from here, what we need to do is we just need to go over here and we need to add the game. So just click on add desktop and we need to navigate to the installation folder. Go to this PC, copy the ST, Steam library, Steam apps, common. Go over here to hell let loose, select this one and go for it. So once it is added, we just need to click on this one. And now, as you can see, the GPU preferences is let Windows aside, change this to high performance and we need to save it. Once afterwards, just close this and go back and try launch the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, we need to try one more. That is all about, we need to update the graphics card manually. So just go over here. I'll be providing a link in the description so that it will take you to this. So if you're on the NVIDIA, just go over here, select everything. For example, if you're on the GeForce, select GeForce. If you're on the Titan, you have to select it. So select according to your configuration. Now GeForce 16 series, GeForce TTX 1650, Windows 11 and go for fight. And right now, as you can see, it will be getting the uh, detailed explanations based on your configurations. And now you have to go over here 566.36 and which is around 732.822 MB. We just need to download this one. And also we just need to go over here, go to the graphics and we just need to go over here, Arduino RX 5000 series and go over here to the submit. And right now, if the system is based on Windows 11, download this one. If the system is based on Windows 10, download this one. And also you can try installing the Microsoft Visual C++. Just scroll down and navigate over here. So if the system is based on x64, download this one. If the system is based on x86, we can download this one and install. Restart is mandatory and try. On to an action is all about we need to increase the virtual memory, which is an important step. So just go over here, search for build advanced system setting and click on this one. Now just go to the advanced, go to the settings, advanced once again, go for change. Make sure this is blank and select the local disk where the game is installed. In my case, it is local SD. And go to the custom size, set the value initial size that is 1.5 times the local RAM and the maximum size 3 times the local RAM. So just go over here. Now we need to search for the calculator. And now we just need to type the RAM. So type your RAM 32 GB. So no, in my case, it is 16 GB. So type your RAM, multiply it with 1024. And that brings you this particular value. Multiply it with 1.5. That is 24, 5, 7, 6, and copy this. And we have to paste it. Make sure the maximum size 32 GB, not 32 GB, 16 GB multiplied with 1024. And you have to multiply it with 1.5. So that brings you this particular value, sorry. Just type your RAM 32 GB, multiply it with 1024 and multiply it with 3. That is brings you 14 and 152 and copy this and we have to paste that. So once, if the value is being set, disclose everything and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to, after trying with this still, if you're having the trouble, you can also cross check whether the Windows is up to date or not. If the Windows is up to date, you're fine with it because updating the Windows is a good practice because for these kind of running games, we should be having the Windows up to date. So once afterward, just go over here and you can try two steps. One is we just need to go over here, right click, go to the properties. 
installer file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So that is going to cross check every single file of a game. So uh, most probably we're going to end up in all these kind of issue if the files are corrupted, if files are validated, it's not validated, if the files are, you know, they're going through any kind of issue, if the files that are missing and all these kind of issue can cause this up. So we just need to wait. And this is going to take you a bit of time. So what I'm going to do is in the meantime, I'm going to demonstrate to our website so that you can visit our website for more of these kind of information. And also apart from that, what you need to do is I'll be showing you a few more steps that can be done and that's going to fix the issue up as well. You can also uh, visit the website Games Error over here, which is a uh, really helpful website where you can refer to many more articles like these kind of things, which we address the many more issue. So the Games Error is one of the trusty websites which you can just go through it. You can search it. I'll be providing a link in the description so you can read and support. So uh, that's all it. So let's move to this one. Once it is done, I'll be showing you a bunch of stuff that can be done in order to fix the issue up. So we just need to wait if it's going to take time. So I'm going to come back after once it is done.
once over the fire it's all successfully validated just skims everything and try energy the game still if you're having the trouble just go over here go to the memories and uninstall the game and you can reinstall it back you should not be installing it back on local disk d because this is where the game is right now install you can try either e or t and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe the channel and kick on for these kind of videos and also don't forget to subscribe our website and you can also refer for the website for any good information so this is guys and i hope this video is gonna help you guys out so if you have any questions or queries do let us know in the comment sessions so see you soon in the next video